welcome back to our channel. We're always a little bit quiet these days, aren't we? With Mabel sleeping in the room, we're like, hey, let's not wake the baby. Yeah, Mabel's gone down for a nap, so yeah. we're getting in. A chatty catch up. We just feel like we have so much to catch up on. The last time we filmed one of these little sit downs was when we were introducing Mabel. Oh my remember? gosh, yeah. I was gonna say, we haven't done anything like this in no. ages, like a QA thing. Not a and proper one. Like, yeah. So I'm whipping up phones. I know we've usually like yeah. caught you up on everything and everything, but it has been, you know, yeah. there's a lot going on. You so we'd smash straight into it. We're gonna try and get through 20 questions, okay? <laughs> we've got a lot of questions, guys. We'll probably end up skipping some. <laughs> I know. Um, okay. So first question, is it, is having two kids easier or harder than you expected? So it's a good one to start, you know? In a weird way, I think it's, I think not in a weird way, but I think it's easier for us personally. Yeah. Because of the kids we have. But also, but then we expected, because I think we literally, we expected, it's yeah. always better in my opinion than we expected, because I feel like me and James, especially me, I seem to you, think you that it's like, you is like, Karis is like, Karis I'm is like, worst, is worst case scenario for both kids. <laughs> I've chosen to have the child and then I'm pregnant with it and I'm like, this, this is the end of my life. It's going to be the worst thing that's ever happened to me because that's what everyone tells you. That's literally what so many people yeah. say, isn't it? Yeah. Um, and it's so hard to kind of stay positive when everyone's saying that, but... Um, two, yeah, when that first year with two, you're never going to you're never gonna sleep. sleep or breathe again. <laughs> literally. Um, but yeah, I think, like you said, with our babies, we've yeah. been very lucky. We have been very lucky. Yeah. I think they're just, they're just both good mm. as gold. Um, and so, yeah, probably easier, but then you still have days when you're like, I am truly exhausted. Yeah. And we get to the end of the day and we're like, we are absolutely dead with yeah. two. Like, it just feels absolutely, not on a day that we have both, yeah. so, which is most days, obviously, but then some days mm -hmm. Amber goes to one of our parents. Yeah. You get to the end and you're like... I think we're very <laughs> lucky that Amber, like, right from day one, she still loved going to our parents. She had yeah. that routine. People from, often from say... Newborn, she came out of the womb, didn't she? And she was like, can <laughs> I go to... Nanny's house, no. please. <laughs> From day one of Mabel coming, we yeah. were like very much like, we're just going to ask her if she wants to go and if she says no, she can like stay and chill with us for, you know, as yeah. long for this year or however long she wants to. And they popped over, didn't they? Yeah. To like see Mabel and she was like, bye bye now, I go with she, Nanny. She literally <laughs> asks to go. If it's been like a few days, she's like, Amber, go to Nanny's house? And then we're like, okay, <laughs> no, no problem. But like, why wouldn't she want to go? She has one-on-one -on -one amazing yeah. time there and it's just yeah. like people ask me on my story sometimes when I like do my little plans of the day and I show like Amber going to James parents or Amber going to my parents so she goes three days a week two days to James one day to my mums um and yeah they ask like oh how come you don't keep Amber at home if you're working from home I'm like honey she's got a time for life over there why would she want to see it but you can't work from home with a two-year-old no. it just means like, you've got to put the tv on yeah. which is okay sometimes but it would literally be if we you're trying be to, to work with a two-year-old no. it's kind of like sitting in front of the tv we're working here we only work on the days that we yeah. don't have amber now so on the three days um, yeah. or however many that we don't have her the days that we like smash out all our work as much um, as possible as much as possible but anyway we'll get onto that later but i think overall easier than expected evenings and Evenings harder than expected. That's the part of the day where I really struggle. Is yeah, that five o'clock onwards? Dinner, bedtime. They both seem to be waking, yeah. screaming, doing I think all it's that. that the... awkward kind of between yeah. six and seven because Amber goes down at half seven. Mabel yeah. like goes down between seven and seven thirty usually. Yeah, and it's like, and it's like they they're both Hectic. overtired and they're it's like the ah! overtired vibes. Yeah. You're trying to cook dinner. You're yeah. also trying to squeeze in a gym session or something each. We're like, you run, do twenty minutes, come back. <laughs> Right, you run in the night garden, put it on now. It's just, there's a lot of times where we've both yeah. put them down to bed and gone, oh my gosh, what yeah, have we done? And then Mila comes wanting attention. <clears throat> yeah. And she goes on the sofa, we're like, we're all touched out. <laughs> yeah, I know, we don't have time for each other, hello Mila, we're just there, all three of us on the sofa, like, no one touched anyone. Like, uh, <laughs> oh She's God, just there, bless her. We still love cuddles with you. Okay, now, next question. Now, I'm like an interviewer. Now, next question. Do you think Mabel is your last baby? Yeah. Uh, yes, yeah. <laughs> we, I've surprised myself how we've stuck with this. So early on, everyone asked this because early like on, I think even before I have an amber, or even after I have an amber. When we were young and naive. <laughs> I was like, we, we want five that... kids. <laughs> five kids, six kids. How do you guys do it? I, don't I know, know some of you have got multiple, multiple children. How do you do it? It's, it's a different lifestyle, isn't it? It's a yeah. completely different lifestyle having... Completely devoted. Having kids is a crazy different lifestyle than having lots of kids. It's mad. Yeah. I can imagine. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I'm, I was one of four and it was quite mad. 
Um, but like I obviously I don't remember early days. I don't remember obviously being like a two year old when yeah, my parents you're all the third. Those. Yeah, your older sister might know, but yeah, she might yeah. remember. Um, but yeah, I, I, I two just feels right. If we were to go on and ha like to have a third out of choice or whatever accident then that would be what's right as well. Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah, that's that, totally. It definitely wouldn't happen and then we'd go... That would definitely be right. That would definitely be right. Okay. <laughs> no, but it is though, because you know, I know in my heart and everything that if oh, yeah. I was to pop another baby out, it would slide it right out. into our family and we would love it with all our heart. But... That's why I think in this day and age, there's nothing wrong with yeah. like kids being accidents. I feel like in the no. past it was this whole... <gasps> An accident, yeah. Don't tell your you don't child love it. Because it doesn't, like, it doesn't, like you love your kid just as oh, much. Oh, come on. Come on. Well, that's why I'm happy to say whether it's planned yeah. or whether it's not. It would, like, they, they would just yeah. fit straight into our life and we that would be, be fine. Precautions, though. We are taking precautions, we will be. Um, <laughs> because yeah, we are pretty sure that this just feels right, aren't we? Yeah. But you don't know, do you? We're you very young know. as well. Yeah. We are young. Yeah. So I'm talking we a lot of People always do the whole, oh, when your friends start having kids, mm. you don't want to have more. I don't Might know, be true. I think we'll just be chuckling to ourselves <laughs> when they're going through the difficulties. We always say that kids. when we drink in our red wine, yeah. our kids will be babysitting their kids. <laughs> it's going to be great. Um, okay, next question. Sorry, I'm talking a lot. I'm very excited. I'm loving it. I'm very chilled this morning. I'm just going to drink my coffee. We just got our coffees. Yeah, I know. Cheers. This is such a chill. Cows is into oat coffees at the moment. <gasps> Guys, What's the lattes. difference with oat milk? Like, there was oat milk in the fridge, and then there's also oat milk not in the fridge in the supermarket. Huh. And then there's like three different brands, obviously. Well, like, it's probably with the same as milk. milk. There's yeah. no real different brands. Or they're all identical, even with the different brands. I know, that's true. But is there a difference in the oat milk? The one you've got is brands? lovely. That's a really nice one. Yeah, that's the kind of oat life. Yeah. That's the OG. Yeah, I think. it that's is. The one I feel. That most people have. Yeah. I've tried it in the past, like when we were really into fitness. Mm. I don't know why. Is it healthy? I don't know. Um, and then I didn't really like get on with it, but now I cannot go back, guys. I'm obsessed with oat coffees. Like I tried a non-oat one from Costa the other day, and I was like, "What is my life?" <laughs> I know I'm dramatic. Um, okay, have you started working on the fixer at the house yet? Ooh. Firstly, thank you so much for all your love and amazing suggestions and in interaction yeah, already. I literally my mouth hurts from smiling. I'm gonna be like smiling every time I talk about this project that we're doing. Um, so yeah, if you missed that, we bought a fixer upper property um, that we're doing, and yeah, basically, have we started work on it? Yes. yes. So it's going so well because we filmed our on. first video when yeah. Karis was 38, 39 weeks pregnant, and know. honestly, yeah, it's it's looking it's so flying. good, and we're so excited. We're going to film kind of the updated house video in the next couple of weeks. We're just waiting for the last couple of pieces to put by, yeah, and then yeah, you guys can be like. Oh. <laughs> but don't worry, we haven't done any of the decisions or anything oh, yet. No. We've just got the, you know, we've been doing the extension, Structure. the loft conversion, like the stairs have yeah. gone in. We've got like all the kind of like roof light and everything that we just can't wait to show you. Then we're going to crack on with all the suggestions and the designs. We'll the, be fun getting bits. the fun bits. The fun part. Bit. I know you guys have so much to say. I was loving reading all your comments on the We did literally read every single one. It's I know. so fascinating. Like opinions, they're just so yeah. varied as I well. Know. Yeah. I know. Okay. Do you miss being as toned slash strong? And would you want to get into your new version of that? So I had a lot of questions on that because the next one is what's your plans for your fitness goals? I quite liked that first one because I like the would and would you want to get into your new version of that? Mm. I like that it wasn't like would you like to get back to what you were before? Because I think a nice wording. Yeah, we, we sometimes that's how it goes in our head, isn't it? I want to get back to what I was like in 2010. I want to get back to yeah. when I had a flat stomach. And realistically, it's like, not going to happen. Well, like, we are still relatively young. And like, we can still make, you know, we can still have mm. really good fitness goals. But to like, look at your How 16 or 18 year old self and go, I want to oh. get back to that. It's like, I'm oh, a teenager. Not going to happen then. It's like, <laughs> yeah, no, that's right. And I remember as a teenager, it. I used to eat so much rubbish. I know. And I used to play like, four rugby matches a week Sport, and then yeah. train for like two hours on every other day every single day like you just you used to be non-stop yeah. and then playing in the, I used to play rugby and then I'd like play in the streets for hours playing football afterwards and it's like how on earth as an adult do you have time to do all of that exercise and you do though you look back and think why can't I look like I did when I was 16 then hey? <laughs> <laughs> Why can't I rap like I did when I was 16? But then also we were in like a very much fitness phase when we were like in university yeah. and stuff like that. I knew that battery was going to run out. I'll be back. Progress rather than trying to get back to where you want yeah. to like, start in now. And yeah. Yeah. And I liked the, um, the way that the question was about 
I can't remember what it said now. Was it toned and strong? Yeah. Do you miss being as toned and strong? Because, um, yeah, for anyone that doesn't know, yeah, so basically we were really fitnessy. Um, I'll pop up a photo of what I used to look like. And then I went on a bit of a journey and I think I needed this journey of self-love where mm -hmm. I, I have always had fitness as part of my life during this whole time because it's been something that we both need for our mental health and we yeah. just love it. Um, but I kind of needed to separate the two and I lost my way a little bit with fitness um, too much I would say but I needed that time to prioritise self-love and really not even fall in, I did fall in love with myself but work on like just pure like acceptance and just prioritising other things in my life and valuing mm -hmm. my life for other things that weren't fitness and weren't because I came from a place where like I fully valued like having a flat stomach like everything about myself I just I only felt valued and enough if I was, you know, kind of the slimmest I could be, the most muscly I could be, this and that. And it's such a difficult place to get out of. I needed that time to gain, you know, and whatever happened to my body, I gained weight and this and that. But I found value in my life in so many other places and I have it's just a much healthier relationship with my body. And now I do miss being strong, I miss feeling fit. And I want to get that back. And I'm so motivated mm. to get that back now, aren't I? Yeah. But for me, this is the first time I've really had a passionate fitness journey that is just not about how I look. And it is, the, my motivation so far has been more so than ever before because it is just all about my health, my strength, being able to pick my babies up and carry my baby in a sling. Because let's be honest, you guys know I am starting from square one minus 200 because not only had I become a little bit more, a little bit too unfit than I would have liked before my pregnancy with Mabel. My pregnancy with Mabel, then with all the hip pain, the pelvic pain, mm. not being able to walk, like not even being able to do a 10 minute walk. I am really unfit at the moment. And I am literally starting from square one. My abs are so weak. You know, even if I have like a cough, <laughs> I might wake up with achy abs. I've got a huge ab separation because I have the most gigantic bumps in the world. And, you know, I'm starting from square one of literally breathing techniques. I'm going out into the gym to do my workouts. And it is literally a case of breathing, pelvic floor. I saw floor. you yesterday. You were getting some bandage I was in. I I know. Know. Thank you. It's all very slow. We're working with the breath, the core. Yeah. But you don't want to stop deadlifting, you know, how oh. you can't eat straight in. I can't, I can't even do five unweighted squats. I've had doms, okay? Doms from doing glute bridges that are that unweighted. That because you haven't done anything of course. for like nine months and i love it i love that i just think whatever you do and you feel a knackered you're sweating you've got doms you've got to celebrate that even if it's just going on a five minute walk i will be out of breath now going on a walk and that's something to celebrate not kind of be annoyed at so yeah i've got this whole new mindset with fitness um but essentially my goals are to get strong i've got loads of like goals broken down but i feel like i could do like a whole video talking about fitness and i am filming this like over a long period of time like kind of gain back my strength with me video so hopefully that'll be something that'll come mm. to life in the future and I'll be able to share that but um yeah at the moment my goals are to literally be able to go on dog walks yeah. to carry my babies without weeing myself to you know do these things that are pretty much normal probably to a lot of people but to me as something that my body's just not coping with very well at the moment and I can't wait to just get back to that normal baseline and then we can go from there and work on yeah. being stronger and fitter and I think that's the thing I think having a baby <clears throat> like there's there's no getting around that it's a massive mm. toll on your body mm. like huge huge like, huge especially if you end huge. up like you said with the hip pain with yeah the, which stops you from moving um so much and so like it, it if now we have decided that this is kind of gonna that was yeah. maybe was the last baby we want. It's like you've got the rest of your life now. That's the and thing you can I don't go so rush. slowly. Yeah. There's no I need to get fit before my next pregnancy. <clears throat> no. It's just uh and um, but also we, we put so much pressure on ourselves at this time of year. I need to get fit before my yeah. holiday, I need to do this, I need to do that. And a, you'll find you're so much more motivated if you are just Every time you think that, you just think, hang on, no, this is a lifestyle. This is what I want for the rest of my life. I've got years to build this fitness and to build this, you know, thing. This is not just something that I'm doing for a holiday or to look yeah. good. Because it's so demotivating sometimes then when you don't oh, see progress. Big time. Big time. Uh, yes. Okay. Did you have any plans for your fitness goals? I feel like I'm literally Yay. taking over this Q&A. 
I'm, I'm, I, yeah, I've changed my You've exercise really a bit, going, I? I yeah. do far more cardio than I used to. I don't enjoy weightlifting anymore. You do still do a bit, though. I do a little bit, but I don't love it. Oh. I really, it's this time of year as well. I think it's just so nice going out on runs. Yeah, Now is. that the weather turns. You it's know, I've got really my new nice. running trainers. I think it's oh, nice. yeah, you were saying that before, weren't you? Yeah. You've yeah. been loving it. Yeah. But yeah, have you got any fitness goals for the year? To get fitter? To get stronger? You're already quite fit, to be fair. I'd like you to keep be up your fitter. fitness. Like, I'd like to You'd always like to be fitter, wouldn't you? Be a better, you know, better time for running my 5k and <laughs> yeah. stuff. But the thing no, is, you I don't have any problems have any picking up things. Amber or like yeah. carrying babies in a sling. Like the things that you can do, you could like carry Amber for like a two hour walk. Like <laughs> you're already at that strength. You're not really going to have those kind of goals that are like, yeah, yeah. that type of lifestyle. Really if did. I really wanted to improve my lifestyle, I should really be like, I want to improve my mobility and my flexibility. Yeah, that's. Because my knees are that's it. not good for my age. My legs are so tight, and I do stretch after all my mm. runs and things, but I just can't be bothered. You, no, like, but I should really yeah. like have a full-on stretch routine, do <sighs> yoga, stop weightlifting, That's using my legs, stop running. Cause I'm really bad on your legs, aren't you? Running. The thing, like, I should really just be doing my spin. I don't do stretching or mobility, and I'm so flexible still. No, it's just kind of genetics gym isn't it? until you were like I know, seventeen. But is that going to stay with me forever then? No. And then you used to do a lot of stretching when you were weightlifting. I never used to stretch yeah. when I was weightlifting. I, I did that more than you. Never do this, kids. If no, you have any young do persons it. watching, don't. don't weight lift and don't stretch because you'll regret it. Mm. My, my, I'm just so <laughs> tight everywhere. Honestly, like... I'm doing it, like an hour and a half leg yeah. section and then just like going home. No, I'm laughing because I'm thinking of like, you would think like, oh, what doesn't, you don't need to be flexible anyway, but you'd be surprised at the type of situations where you can't get out oh. of, like when he fell out of a canoe. <laughs> But it is kind of true. You were like, what? You couldn't get your leg into the canoe because he wasn't flexible enough. Get over, no, My uncle right. was like, all right, hen. Off you bob back to shore. You're not part of the canoe and club. And also, I just have a little bit of back pain, don't I? A little bit of because the leg. It is actually. Tightness. You'll find it's all it. Tightness. Oh, you seem very stressed. <laughs> it's stressing you out. Well. I just know I'm going to be like a 30 year old with like <laughs> severe back I just pain. Need, and like... I need to go to, I need to just stretch for this effort though. It's just a waste of time, <laughs> isn't it? Half an hour You're in this cycle. Oh, I know. <laughs> Look, I just need to stretch more. Oh, is that oh, hilarious? I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it, guys. Oh, I'm in so much pain. <laughs> and I'm there doing a pelvic floor breathing because I have to see th take things that slow. Oh, I feel so Ooh. motivated and fit. I just did a really good pelvic floor breath. Lovely. <laughs> okay. How do you feel your relationship has changed from none to one to two? Oh, I think we had no relationship. That's what it was hard to But it changed a lot when we first met. Um, so yeah, I feel like going from... Do you want to talk? Honestly, I'm talking so much. Oh, you did have a little segment. I did, didn't I? I talked about my tight muscles. I've had my thyroid check, guys. Honestly, it is not overactive. It's absolutely fine. Um, I'm just hyper. It was yeah. overactive last How time. How has it changed? I I'm, yeah, it's changed. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, it's I changed. was just waiting for you to flow into that question. I will so if you want. Over my shock. Okay, you can join in later. Okay. Um, so, what was the question again? How do you feel it was in terms? Yeah. Um, I feel like when we had Amber, um, it changed quite a lot. But since going from one to two, I would say it's changed even. I think that would be the same. If you go from two to three, it was going to change a bit more every time. I can't really remember nor the pre-amber time, to be honest. No, nor can I. I can't remember pre-amber at all, to be honest. And I think just like pre-amber, like your pregnancy with Amber, it was during lockdown. And so again, it was like completely yeah. different. We used to do, in terms of our relationship, it's a, it's a weird one because our relationship is our, our life, you know, like yeah, and we're it's together just... all day, every day. And so if you count our relationship as we used to do loads of traveling, we used yeah. to kind of go out to eat lots, we used to yeah. do stuff like that. Spa day. Spa day. Spa day. So like, that, you know, then we went to Amber and then yeah. it changed. But then obviously Amber kind of after a year, we started doing a bit more again and leaving her with my parents for a night. And yeah, we like got that. back into it. Yeah. yeah. And now obviously that's, really come, that's come to a full stop again. Like we wouldn't, we won't leave Mabel now no. for the night for a year. I mean, we only like left Amber, Amber, we've only left Amber overnight actually a couple of times to yeah. do like spa, spa trips and stuff but so when you actually think about how much that that did change yeah. the first time but I think we never really mourned it that much 
I think we mourned, that's a funny word, but we, you do mourn kind of relationships and stuff when they change. The sort of, I don't know, the literal being able to do whatever you want, maybe like on the weekend having a duvet sofa day or yeah. things like day to day. Yeah. That's probably what we found the biggest change. Um, but I would say going from one to two, I have felt at times like we are literally like we because we work together in the day we then have you know sorting the babies out and we get to the end of the day and i feel like i've literally just been passing you like passing yeah, you whilst yeah. doing laundry passing yeah. you oh hi yeah yeah oh yeah and we get to the end of the day and it's like i feel like i've literally not seen you at all yeah. it's been like a military operation yeah. and and then we're both knackered we're touched out so we're just sitting on the sofa like Hi. I think that's the big thing with two is you feel really touched out coming yeah, in the day. You feel because you always feel like you're holding someone or playing with yeah, someone exactly. or rocking someone and then yeah. And then so you're just like sitting on the sofa like. <laughs> so I feel at the moment like it's more. It feels like more like a military team operation in this life. But we are loving it because we're loving all the bits and we have so much going on with this fixer upper and we've got loads of work mm. opportunities and like loads of traveling things coming up. And I feel like. I feel like you're the type of person I never was to just like be like, well, this is just what's happening now. Because whenever I say things like that to James, I'm like, I feel really unconnected to you. Like, oh, we need some skin on skin as well. <laughs> and he's just like, look, this is just what it's like now. And like down the line, you know, things yeah. will change. And then down the line again, things will change. And it's so true. And I saw, I remember seeing like a reel or a TikTok or something about how like the best way to think about it is just like, this is your time, this is your phase of life to give up that time to your babies. You know, when mm. you're rocking them in the night and you think, oh, I just want to be sleeping, you just think, well, this is such a short period of time. This is the time that I'm giving to my babies and I'm dedicating to them. And it's not, you know, I've got time for sleeping <laughs> in the future. Um, but yeah, so I feel like when I think like that now, I just think, look, this is our time to be surviving like a military operation sometimes. And we're not going to be the cutesy mm. going out on a date night, you know, all the time and that, this and that. We've got time to do that in the future and sort of reconnect in that way. At the moment, we are connecting so much on a surviving and thriving off our new busy life and trying yeah. to feel like we're doing well doing that. Not that it's, not that it's, what's the word? that it's a negative that we're barely, you know, seeing each yeah. other. But it's actually a positive because we're getting through the days and we're doing, you know... Yeah. And that's the thing, we are doing less with each other. Like, I'll, yeah. take, I'll take Amber out to, mm. to do things that you can stay in at work because, you know, maybe we're sleeping so much at the moment and things yeah. like that. So we do a lot of separate things yeah. now that we never would have done before. No. So it's definitely changed the game. I think that's the big one. We used to do everything together with Amber. Like, yeah, you're right. We used to do all the, like, gymnastics yeah. together and swimming together. And now it's much more one of us going. Yeah. And then the other one kind of staying at home and working and looking after Mabel and that kind yeah. of thing. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Okay, so how was Peppa Pig World? It oh, looked it amazing. amazing. Oh, guys, we absolutely loved it. I thought I'd answer this one to puff up the little video that we did from Peppa Pig World in case you didn't see it on my Instagram. Amber was in her element. We booked it so for her second funny. birthday and we just had the best time. So we literally went like last week and it was so yeah. good. So I'll pop that up now. Where are we going? Papa Road! Papa Road! Papa Pig! Grandpa Pig! Grandpa Pig! Oh, George! Oh, oh my goodness! It's my Disneyland! said the word pepper about eight million times that day oh yeah <laughs> but it was so my good my dad at the end of the day said how is pepper pig world and he's got pepper like salt and pepper <laughs> we were cracking up i don't know why i found no, that so funny no but you but i felt really bad when you found it funny because the first time i wrote we're going to pepper pig world on my story i had to google how, whether it was stopped <laughs> <laughs> 
And then you were like, my dad's on power and I was like, ah, <laughs> uh, dyslexic vibes. I literally Google <laughs> everything. If I'm writing something on my story, because I know people are literally like, ah, uh, my God, you spelled pepper wrong. And I'll be like, oh. I've spelt things wrong so much on my stories that now I literally Google like every word that I've It's because then you get more engagement on your stories. I know. I should load your DMs about And then Instagram's like, something's going on on this girl's story. Let's promote it. It must be really interesting. Oh, she just spelt pepper wrong. <laughs> Take it down. Okay. Take it off the explore page. <laughs> I'm definitely not on the explore page at the moment. Okay, have you found, how have you found Emetophobia since having children. There was actually quite a lot of questions on this. Like the sick one. Yeah, the oh, sick okay. one. Oh yeah, okay. So for anyone that does sick. have emetophobia, I'm now going to talk a little bit about being sick. Not being sick, but like the word sick used to trigger me a lot when I did have emetophobia. Oh, I just said um, before you did the trigger warning. I know, I know. Awkward, it's okay. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. Um, forgiven. You can be forgiven. Okay. We can be but, out. What? We can be out. Can be out. Yeah. No, but it is genuinely like the word sick used to send my heart racing. Um, and so... Yeah, I, I could totally understand if you just want to skip this bit. But I've got a lot of questions on this. I think it was because I spoke so openly about sort of my struggles with it in my first trimester vlog. Mm. Um, and there's a lot of people who have emetophobia that worry about having kids because when you think about having kids, what do you think? You think about kids projectile vomiting randomly in the middle of the night. That is the you? only thing I think but about. But people do. I know. Well, I guess it's not it's the only thing. That you, is what you That is the only thing. I think maybe people without emetophobia, they wouldn't think, oh, I'd love to start a family. <laughs> uh, but vomit. <laughs> No, that, is that is actually so funny because that is like kind of normal to me to be like, yeah, of course you would worry about to be like my People main worry. People say, what do kids do? They eat, they sleep and they poop. But no, apparently if you've got emetophobia, all they do Okay, no, vomit. toddlers more so. You think of them like overeating at like Disneyland and then just like vomiting. Never done it. Oh no, I know. She's never so, been sick. There were lots of questions like, oh, now you've got a toddler, you know, what's it been like with, with um, kind of Amber being sick? Because I'm sure she has sick. and stuff. Well, this is the thing. Amber's never... Before we had Mabel, like, Amber never even milk sicked. Like, how normal is that for a baby yeah. to, to just bring up their milk, which isn't even really being sick, but it's like, when you have a fear of being sick, it still is the same vibe and still freaks me out. But um, that's so, and I was really expecting that when I first, like, when we you had were, Amber. You were, like, prepping I was herself. prepping. No, she didn't even milk sick it once. She didn't have to do the whole burping. She just wasn't sick. And she still has never been sick. Not, not even close. Oh, she's never been sick. Not like even had a tummy ache. Are they meant to be sick as top? Like, what are they sick from? Overeating? Mm -hmm. I don't know. Eating and then running around? Well, we had the blooming neurovirus or whatever that sickness bug is. Yeah. She skipped that one. Yeah. Thank goodness. But yeah, so I... So, yes, for context, I used to have it really bad, especially when I was, like, more, like, younger, kind of, like, before I met James. If someone even said, oh, I feel a bit unwell, I had to leave the room, or like I had to ask them. I remember vividly like asking people like, sorry, do, you said you feel unwell, do you feel sick? Like, do you feel like you're gonna be sick? And I had to like go, because my heart would be racing. Um, then it got a little bit better when I met James, because he's like the most chilled person ever. He's just like, oh, I need to be sick, there, cool. And I was like, oh, okay, like, Yeah, it's always you know, your body's natural reaction to, to being unwell. To being a bit too excited. Like he literally threw up from being excited once when I met him. Um, so that was- Not in that context, guys, okay. <laughs> That's, that's, oh my god, no, not in that. Lines. It was just literally we'd had a couple of digestive biscuits and I think we were bounced from the bed. <laughs> that's when we were like Not 17. in that way, guys. Oh, guys, not in that way. Nobody was thinking it was in that way. I can't that at all. Yeah. You were like, oh no. You go to the toilet there. And then literally bouncing on the bed. We were laughing so much. We were, you know when you're like, you laugh so much that you cry? Okay. And like we were laughing so much and like giggling and like just being stupid and like then she just went away and be sick. I was like, right, okay. That's a whole conundrum for me, but for him it was just so chill. So there was a little bit of exposure, exposure therapy oh, there. And then the main thing for me was when I got pregnant with Amber, um, I really held it down for as long as I could. You, did, you and literally weren't sick at all. I wasn't sick ages. at all for ages until literally like and I you can't were remember. So that. Unwell. I was so I felt and it, honestly, I felt worse for it. But when you've got a fear of being sick, you think it's the worst thing in the world to actually be sick. You'd rather like feel unwell and, and whatever. Um, so then eventually, one time it just came out and then I actually realised how much better my body felt once it had come out. Don't get me wrong, I didn't cure it. I still had a genuine like anxiety attack, didn't I? Every time I'd be like with Amber, I'd be like hyperventilating on the toilet because like I just didn't want to be sick. I, did, I couldn't be sick in a calm way. Hello. Hello, Smiley. Hello, Smiley. <laughs> Hi. Hi. You just woke up. Hello. 
Mabel's just woken up, so she's just going to chill with us. Um, chill, hopefully. Chill. You chilling? She's a very chill baby. Um, yeah, so I'm going to go on about this this thing for too long. But long story short, um, I had a lot of exposure therapy to it in my pregnancies because I was sick so much. Um, especially with Mabel, I feel like I couldn't hold it even, couldn't really hold it down at all. Um, so by the end of both my pregnancies, I feel in a lot healthier place with it like obviously I do still panic um but I feel a lot better with being sick myself um I think actually something that helped a lot was when I was sick with Mabel's pregnancy and Amber was actually the times where I was sick and Amber was there with me I was would you rather face this way and see everyone hello hello that's hard doesn't it it was really hard, but I actually stayed the calmest I've ever stayed because I didn't want her to panic. I didn't want yeah. her to be freaked out. Um, so actually, that was really good. I was like, oh, I can actually stay really calm if I need to for my baby. Um, so, you know, I can do this and stuff. So and, and there was lots of times as well where, like, yeah, I didn't have you with me, which when I was pregnant with Amber, yeah. I had that a lot. Anyway. And there was that one down the park at the Sydney <gasps> Bank. That was a fun one. I think I definitely told that story in my first trimester vlog, yeah, 100%, did, yeah. but yeah, down, took, took baby, took baby, <laughs> I was going to say took the babies, but there was only one, took Amber to the park when I was pregnant, yeah, and I had to throw up in a subway bag, that was a low, low, low point, but even though I have, I'm not nowhere near like on James's level, like I still lit, like cry every time yeah. I throw up, and I think it'll always be like that. And um, Mabel's been a bit of a milk sickly <clears throat> baby. Like, so yes. much more than Amber. Amber just wasn't at all. No. And Mabel's so Mabel, been a little bit more, and you struggle with that. Yeah, so Mabel had quite bad, re well, not bad, but she did have reflux at the beginning, and she there was quite a lot of, kind of, like, there's, there's little milk sex, but then there's reflux sex, where they are literally, and I struggle still. I stay calm. I try and stay calm for the baby, and I'm like, the baby. I try and stay calm for Mabel, and I'm like, it's okay. And the thing is, I'm happy for her to throw up all over me, it's not that part. I don't know if anyone can relate who's had a metaphobia and now has kids. It's not that the sick's gonna go on me anymore, which I think it used to be in the past. It's, I don't want her, I feel like she is gonna feel like I felt about sick. I feel like she's gonna be panicked and she's gonna be that out upset. Control. Yeah, she's gonna feel out of control <clears> and I don't <throat> want her to feel like that. So I absorb all that and feel that stress when actually she literally, like babies, they'll literally throw up and then like, like smile and go to sleep in their own sick and be like, see ya. So they don't care, but I can't seem to get that into my head. So even now when she throws up, I still, I can stay calm, but my heart's going, you know, mm -hmm. like my, my heart's racing and I'm I'm sort of all trying to think what's the, what's the best position for them to be in to feel comfortable and sort of like overthink all of that. So yeah, it has been a struggle and it's, just, it's, it's been weirdly the main thing that I struggled with with Mabel is being the reflex. That is the hardest thing, yeah. Yeah, the, the, the sickness. And I can see it in you now, she's a little bit sick and I can see you get all like yeah, uptight. Yeah, I fast. do. And I'm, like, it's okay, and I'm like, James, Muslim, James, pass me that cloth thing. It's okay. Oh, it's okay she's, she's sick a little bit on me anyway. Yeah. Throw in Muslim. I know, I'm like, are you okay? Is everyone okay? <laughs> it's like drama. It's just like everyone's like, what? That's like the most normal thing a baby can do. I just don't want you to be stressed though. Okay, I next like question. It. Are you planning on selling or renting the property you're doing now? Mm -hmm. okay. We did say at the start of the vlog, at the start of the property, the house tour, that um, we are <clears> going <throat> to be um, renting it to a close friend of ours. Yeah. Close friend of ours. We were yes. initially going to just sell it on, but um, she ended up, um, her landlord's kicking her out because he's selling the house that yeah. she's currently living in and it's not far from the house that we're doing now. She's kind of already like yeah. being part of like the design yeah. and stuff, so. There were a couple of comments on the video about yeah. like, um, you know, I'm not sure if they knew that we were renting it to a friend or whatever, but they um, were saying, you know, this is, you, you, you're already going into it, your heart's first, you're not going to make a profit on it. I know someone said, oh, you know, don't do the extension, you're not going to make back the money. Um, so I think we just wanted to clear up that it's not a profit making no. situation for us. We're really lucky that um, doing, you know, this as a, as a series, because really we, we did just get so excited about doing a, a property as a YouTube series. <laughs> and <laughs> smiling. You like the idea of that, do you? So do, being able to do that up, we're really lucky that that's part of our job. The goal would be to break even yeah. on the house itself. Yeah. So if we could kind of, when we were going to sell it on, if we could like break even, We'd be happy. that would be great. And then maybe we could like make a little bit of money on YouTube videos. Just through that, yeah. 
or like doing collabs with brands on the house or something. Yeah. But like it wasn't our goal. Yeah. And at the property all. market's taken an absolute smashing, isn't it? So, <laughs> so we're not going to be making even. We're not going to be breaking, breaking even. even. But <laughs> the goal was never like we're never going <laughs> to no. be the, that YouTube channel. That's like bought for a hundred thousand pounds, sold, rented for six hundred pounds a month, ten percent. I don't know. I don't even. Know be like, I don't even know what ten grand mean. lost. <laughs> Follow us for tips. No, like we just. I'm awful. Like I, yeah. I was never going to be good at that, like profit making <laughs> thing with it. I've been hello, smiley. It's because you're so happy and excited talking about the house. I know. I'm she's smiling. like, she's like, why are you so excited about that? <laughs> So yeah, we were never. Yeah. It was never gonna be. It's never cold yeah. top profit. It's not gonna be like the cheapest kitchen Gorgeous. that we can find, the cheapest bathroom, white walls. We want to put style into it, design into it. We just want to make it a really like great family home. Yeah, um, that's the goal to that make is it the, the goal, dream. Just to make it lovely family home. And because we're lucky that it's our job, I just feel we owe it to the property. This is my <laughs> excuse anyway to make it into a gorgeous family oh, home. We've already some... ordered the rustic shelves, guys. James is like, "What are you doing? We're already struggling to break even." I'm like, "You know what? Would look really nice like a rustic shelf." In this Let's spend a thousand yeah. pounds on wooden shelves. No, on... you can't just buy them from B and Q, James. <laughs> you have to get them from this lovely business that I've found. Um, yeah, we are trying to get that yeah, balance between design are. and cost, but <laughs> it's definitely not like just a profit making. No, 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 no. No. It's not at all. And, it's not um, that at all. No, and, and yeah, my friend We'd is better so... better off keeping it in low earning savings accounts. <laughs> yeah. Look guys, it's an exciting project and it's for the YouTube series. Um, <laughs> How's Amber with Mabel? Is she coping well with attention not being solely on her? So um, Amber, I think, again, <clears throat> like compared to stories you hear, yeah. seems to be coping amazingly. She does every... You can't help but laugh, even though you know you shouldn't. But sometimes, if like I'm singing... The worst thing is when I'm like, when you sing, singing to Mabel. Yeah. And we used to do that loads with Amber. That's because she and wants so she's yeah. interested. And she would just come into the room and she just like slowly lies on her back like an old person. She's like, she's got to slowly get to the floor now, guys. And then she just lies there and she just starts kicking her legs and going, wow, wow. And I'm like, I really shouldn't laugh at this. It's not a real cry. Never is a real oh, cry. Like, it's, it's like, like she does it on purpose. Well, of course she does no, it on no, purpose. I know, but like, it's like she it's like does it fake. fake yeah. on purpose. Like, it's so obviously yeah. fake. Wow. 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 Just no emotion. Wow. 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 So she's got her own versions of her struggle and, you know, it's trying yeah. to, for us, like, notice when she's doing those things. Because sometimes with Amber, they're, they're very subtle. So early on, I noticed that whenever I would feed Mabel, you know, if I was feeding Mabel, it was a time where I wasn't able to play with Amber or kind of interact with the toys that she was playing with. And she started, you know, getting toys and being like, catch, mummy, catch, and, like, wanting me to catch. Yes, yeah. Because she knew that I couldn't catch because I was playing with Mabel. So that was, like, her subtle way of being like, look, I really want you to play with me. Look, you can't catch, you know, right now, so I'm going to ask you to catch. And... It's sort of noticing those things and trying to, yeah, like figure out the best way to deal with those situations. It's always going to be hard when you go from one to two and they haven't got your full attention. And I'll tell you now, it is completely healthy and normal. I'm sure anyone that has two already knows that. But if you didn't, like the health visitor when she came for Mabel was asking about whether, you know, Amber had shown signs of jealousy because it's a good thing. It's a good thing for them to show those signs. Obviously you want to deal with it in the best way possible. If they are struggling more than you would like, then it's going to be really hard. But showing those signs of of struggling and, and you know, wanting your full attention, that's completely normal and it's completely, it's good, yeah, it's, it's healthy. Good. So, yeah, we have just had... if they don't show, maybe Amber <clears throat> doesn't love us that much. It sometimes because feels like that. Because she doesn't, like, care that much. No. <laughs> and then she's literally like, bye, I'm off to Nanny's house. And we're like, okay, honey, oh, you're right, very fine, independent, yeah. that's fine. <laughs> but overall, I was, this is the thing, I was very anxious about going into um, having Mabel. I was mm. worrying about Amber. Worst case scenario mm. thinking. I was worst case scenario thinking. When actually, she is, obs like, she loves Mabel she so does. much. She wakes up every morning, where's Mabel, where's Mummy, where's Mabel? You know, for how much I am with Mabel and Mabel is kind of, you know, on my boob attached to me, 
she, I don't know, she almost even sees us as a unit and is yeah. okay with that sometimes. She's like, where's Mummy? where's Mabel? And like, we'll all be sitting in a room. Yeah. And like, you'll be like to Amber, oh, should we go and get a drink from the kitchen or whatever? And you'll get up and go yeah. with her. And she'll be like, Mabel comes. Mabel come. Mabel comes. Mabel, <laughs> Mabel come with us. Or if we're playing hide and seek, Mabel hide. Mabel hide now. Like, she wants her involved with everything. Yeah. She she doesn't want to kind of push her away in that. And that's really lovely and special. But obviously they're going to have those moments where they just want you. And so, mummy catch! Yeah. <laughs> we'll come I out the bag. Like at you. Mummy catch! <laughs> mummy catch! Quick one here now. Yeah. What room are you looking forward to renovating and decorating okay. in, the, in the new house? Um, 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 the kitchen. It's got to be the kitchen, surely. I think it's got to be the kitchen. Or the bathroom, because I'm thinking about putting like a fake beam yeah. in the bathroom and I'm really excited about that, the upstairs bathroom. Oh, and we're making it a bit bigger. See, fake beam, you know what I mean guys? Like, I know we're doing a costly design thing here, but a fake beam is it really necessary <laughs> in, a, in a bathroom, yeah. which is got relatively ideas. small it's tiny. for a family I've bathroom. got ideas though, it's gonna look so good. Yeah. Mine's so gotta excited. be in the kitchen, because yeah. I think the layout's gonna be quite difficult, <clears> because yeah. different to the vlog, we're gonna put it in different space in the kitchen, I think it's gonna be exciting. Yeah. I'm really excited for it. And we love kitchens. I think everyone does. Oh, it's the main main place in the house, isn't it? <laughs> is life currently oh this could be one you go on about, <laughs> isn't it? Like I'm trying to find quicker ones. Is life currently everything younger Caris dreamed of? Oh, I screenshotted that because it actually like I was reading through the questions, it actually made me feel emotional. It totally is. Never really dreamed of a specific life. Would you like a feed? I, I feel like my dreams and aspirations change each all the time. I'm yeah. not someone who ever like dreamt of one specific life. But when I think and stop and 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 look at what we're doing with our with our life at the moment, and I've got these two amazing babies that I just love to pieces. I've got my dream soulmate. Oh, I've the got dream man. the dream hubby. Hey. I've got Chisels from gold. The dream hubby. Don't do the night feeds though, okay? It all got time for. They've all got the flaws. <laughs> um, yeah. Hasn't got any boobs with milk in. Yeah. <laughs> Few men at that. Um, and you know now doing this fixer upper, that has been a really big dream of mine for like I don't know the last couple of years and stuff. So I think so. Well, like I would never have dreamed of this. Do they mean? Like, yeah, I no, love I know. life. Like, life is absolutely amazing. We have dreams per year rather than per think, life. When I was 12, I wanted to be a rugby player. And then when I was 15, I, you know. What, you never thought, dreamed of a I gorgeous like, life and kids? And then I think when I was between 14 and 16, it was like, I just wanted to be like a multi millionaire. Like, I think everyone does as a teenager. They don't really think how they're going to do it. They just think you that's just what think, I want. Yeah. You know, I'd love. So I don't. Like, I would never have dreamed of this. Like, life's just crazy, isn't it? Yeah, it does is. Does anyone like. Dream of what they end up doing? I don't know, maybe. 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 I don't know, but I'd say a couple of, Yeah. I don't know, I feel like we don't work like that, do we? No. I try and get James to do like a five year manifestation goal plan and he's like, no. I'm just like, see what okay, comes next week. See it? what happens. See what happens tomorrow. <laughs> Go from there. <laughs> Fair enough. How do you do it all? I guess that's quite similar to. Yeah, so I screenshotted this one because I've had a lot of questions on that, especially yeah. since I've started showing like my plans of the day and stuff. And a lot of the time I think they look quite chock-a-block. And I think with a newborn, it, it does feel like, you know, we're doing a lot. And we got the house going on. And I know we had a couple of comments of people saying like, you know, why are you starting to do more things when you've got so much going on with the two babies and stuff already? Um, I think we would have had to adjust life in whatever way it needed yeah. adjusting when Mabel came along. Um, but to be honest, which is why I wanted to answer it, because every baby is different, she has been an absolute angel. She yeah. is, I know I've said it on my Instagram stories and spoken about it a bit, and lot, every time I say, you know, she's such a chill baby, I just don't understand. Lots of people kind of get back to me and say, it's often the case with, you know, second, third and fourth babies, they just have to fit in and they just often are a, mm. a bit more chill than the first. Now we thought, and I still think she was, Amber was such a chill baby. I don't know if you guys can remember what she was like, but I have... But then we Memory never showed her. Amber when she was being more no, like this more is the like thing. a normal baby. But I thought that was still as chill yeah, as a baby yeah, could yeah. get rocking for hours. I thought yeah. that was well obviously that's just what a baby is. You know, yeah. we've got memories of us being up in the night, rocking her for three hours, losing our minds, so swapping yeah. over, tagging in, tagging out. I've got pictures because we were looking back saying, Well, when's Mabel gonna get like this? So we were literally going back on our WhatsApp photos, yeah. looking at the dates and being like, Oh no, so Sending Amber was other's photos of yeah. us like with and Amber, yeah, yeah, like rock, trying to rock her to sleep, and being like, like, get home from the shops, and now <laughs> this baby is screaming, my back's in pieces. And I was like, wait, Amber's four weeks there, Mabel's four weeks. I ran and rocked her once. I don't know what is with this baby. Okay, that's an exaggeration. We've rocked her maybe yeah. three times. Literally, like, she goes <laughs> for, 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 for like, yeah, a few minutes. 
and it's crazy saying it, but like yeah. you feel bad saying it, but there's different things that I've struggled with with her. So there's there's the reflux and things like that, which I have really personally struggled with. And also we have been trying to get her on a bottle so yeah. James could potentially help with the feeds and it has not gone yeah. as well as we'd like. She will take a bottle very, very, very small sparsely amount. now and then she and it might. it takes ages to get her on it and then, but we need to keep persevering with that. We I'm need sure to keep come. persevering. Hey, because then I can help with the night feeds, guys. <laughs> so let's really hope that. Let's really hope she gets soon. on a muzzle. Hey, okay, fingers crossed. Um, so there's those things that we struggled yeah. with, but in terms of sleep, you know, we were the same with Amber. We followed the same type of sleep kind of routines and sleep associations that we did on this sleep yeah. course, where you kind of have the little sleep associations and you put them down and whatever. But you know, with Amber, part of that was rocking her and getting her sleepy, putting them down, sleepy but awake, and all of that. Hey, just pop yeah. her in the car. See you guys. Bit of white noise in a swaddle. Bit of white noise, swaddle up. You know, 10 minutes Toddles of silence off. and she's sleeping. It's crazy. And sometimes she'll just be in there for like a good little while, just kind of like putting herself to sleep, having a little wake yeah. up, putting herself to sleep. She seems very calm, very content. And I think sometimes you just yeah. get lucky with that. There was those first two nights that the first night I was from the hospital. Yeah, that was night in the hospital, the nights when we got home and I thought, this is kind of what I expected, yeah. but this is yeah. rough as heck, her waking up tw every 20 minutes. Um, but my milk was coming in, and since it has come in, that was it then. So yeah, since the milk came in, she's been a great little feeder, and has been absolutely kind of chill baby vibes. I think that's the word. So it. chill. I think obviously we have got a chill baby, but also I think Karis is, we're really lucky that Karis does actually just have a really good milk supply. Yes, that was another thing, because I didn't realise this till the other day, but... So I always knew that my babies didn't feed for very long. So she's kind of like done now, basically. And I don't know how long I've been feeding for, but it feels like five minutes or maybe less. I don't know. But she usually feeds for about five, five to eight minutes. Uh, and, and 10 minutes would be like a long feed for her. I kind of thought like 10 minutes was normal, whatever. The health visitor was telling me the other day that like, an, you know, a very, it's very normal for babies to feed for 30 to 45 minutes. I'm sorry. How do you guys get anything done in the day? That is literally... That is crazy. A full time, and that's when they say, I've been always tagging on to the, the little thing of breastfeeding's a full time job. Yeah. And I'm like, James, did you hear that? Breastfeeding's a full time job. I'm like, she feeds for five minutes. You've got a lot more time. So if your baby is feeding for long periods of time, you just got to chill on the sofa all day. How are you going to get anything done? It is like, yeah. and you've got to give yourself that grace and give yourself that time. And I didn't really realise that that was such a, an, an unusual thing for a baby to feed for five minutes and be kind of full for then, you know, hours. When mummy starts to panic. See, I'm like so, I thought I look so unnatural doing birthing because I never did it with Amber and I'm there like. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, is she all right, James? Yeah, 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 no, yeah. she's all good. She's, okay. she's just eating, them, eating the cloth. I'm getting used to it now. I, I obviously burp after I'm still feed, so I have burped her so much now. I am getting a little bit used to it. <laughs> A little bit after this long um <clears throat> so yeah i think that short feeds combined with her just you know plopping in the crib and going down is um has allowed us to do a, a lot more with our days than yeah. potentially would have been the case if if she'd have you know if things have been different things would be different that sounds weird but do you know what i mean like we would have had to adjusted our workload um whenever i show her in the cot on my stories or i've like shown her in the swaddle and stuff people are like some people message me, like, obviously it's been on social media, it's completely normal. And um, for people to be, like, aggressive, <laughs> most people aren't. But some people will be like, you know, I can't believe you never let your baby sleep on you. I can't believe you never let them do this. And, you know, you never want them. You just want a strict routine and to have them in the car. It's absolutely not like that. Like, if she wanted to sleep on me, I would happily let her sleep on me. I would be buzzing. Obviously, we do, we do... We, we have liked trying to, you know, get them down in the cot and we think it works well for us, don't we, with our work vibe and they have always been happy to do that. If they weren't happy to do that, it would have been a different story and maybe things... I think that's the thing. You can't please everyone and I think it's just kind of... I just think it works for our yeah. babies. Oh, so oh, 100%. Happy. Yeah. Oh, I tried... I so desperately tried to get Mabel to sleep on me <laughs> and I'm like, oh, rocking. Oh, and she's grunting. She's like, oh, oh, I'm so tired. And I'm like, oh, let's have a little cuddle there. We can lie here. Uh, I'm like, oh, okay, I'll put you down in the Moses basket. They've really? always been like that. Amber was the same. What? She loved her own space. She loved like wriggling around and like just 
I don't know. Yeah. They've just had that that time, and yeah, yeah, and yeah. I I even you know being a mum, you just worry about everything. I worry like, do they not love me? Do they not <laughs> want to sleep with me? But then when they're awake, they're very like obviously yeah. Amber's literally like my best friend, and like you know we have those. I feel like it works really well for us because they get a really good nap, yeah. and we find that their naps are really like restorative, if that makes sense. Like when they go down on their own, like they yeah. they have a really lovely nap, and then we get to kind of get our work done, get laundry done, get as much as we can done when they nap. And then when they're awake, we can have that really interactive awake time where you're like singing to them. Mm -hmm. Otherwise you kind of, yeah, it's just, and, and that's the thing. If you're, if you're struggling with a baby that only sleeps on you, you've got to give yourself grace for that because that is, you know, that's a super mum power to be able to have them sleeping on you all the time, interacting with them all the time. It's so easy to feel kind of like touched out from yeah. having that all day with your baby. So yeah. You're just an amazing mum, however you're choosing to do it, and um, or however your babies are choosing to do it. <laughs> yeah. Do you love me? me? Lost one of your socks, young lady. Did you? Have you lost a sock? Did you? You are so cute. You are so cute. And we have lots of cuddles, especially in the night. We love our sleepy nighttime cuddles, don't we? Time we have. So I'm assuming you, you want to do this. Do you want to do the sex drive one? That's a bit of a boring one. That's yeah. A bit of a boring one. We'll leave that one, shall we? <clears throat> yeah. Do you want to do the sex drive one? Yeah. I'll just, I'll, I'll be short with it though. Okay, and then we can leave the breastfeeding one. Yeah. We kind of talked about that. Yeah, we good leave idea. Leave that one because we kind of spoke about that. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Leave that one. Yeah, we'll just, we'll just end it on the sex one, I think. Yeah. And travel. Travel ones. We'll just do. We'll just do the, the travel one to last. Yeah. Okay. Ready? Next question, Daddy. <laughs> When did you get your sex drive back? LG. Little girl. Oh, you know all the little acronyms. I know. Do you know how I know those acronyms? I know those acronyms from when I was trying to conceive with Amber. I'm oh, trying to conceive. That sounds so posh. When we were trying for Amber, um, you guys know I struggled a lot mentally and I was on these forums non stop, mum's net, everything about conception, you know, all of that. And they had all these acronyms and I had to learn them all. It was like, you know, all the ovulation acronyms, but then all these kind of like little girl, little boy, um, what do they say uh, for husband? It's something like, Hub. no, it's like, HB. Oh, I don't know now, I've lost it. But if I saw it, I'm sure, <laughs> I've lost it, I'm not part of the gang. <laughs> I'm sure if I see, I lose my knee. Yeah, uh, what was the question? <laughs> Are you ever at the ceiling? It is fascinating, isn't it, up there? The lovely little pattern on the ceiling. Mm -hmm. When did, oh, LG is 10 weeks and nothing. My poor boyfriend. What's, okay, well, they sex recommend drive. at least six weeks, don't they? If no yeah. Sex. So they say about the six weeks, and then yeah. I think everyone kind of works towards this. Oh my gosh, six weeks, we should be having sex again. Yeah. We did 10, we were 10 or 11 weeks with Amber, I remember. Yeah. Um, so it was a lot, it was longer than the six weeks. Um, to be honest, I don't even think about what, I don't even know what weeks we're on now. I just go oh, with. Well, <laughs> Seven weeks. I, had to, seven I weeks. had to think about it this morning. <laughs> I had to think about it this morning. Um, this is, yeah, seven, seven weeks, weeks a couple of days ago. Because you said five weeks earlier, and I was like, <laughs> she's not five weeks. <laughs> Are you two weeks old? No. Um, yeah, so we haven't had sex this time yet, and I don't know when it'll be, but no. we were talking about it the other day, weren't we? And I was yeah. like, I just don't feel ready yet. And I don't, I can't explain it. I don't know what it is, but I don't, I feel like past Karis would have put a lot of pressure on myself to be like, mm. we need to get back to it. Like we're not a good couple if we're not. But I just don't think like that at all anymore because I think we've had such a long time together over the years, you know, yeah. your sex drive is gonna go up and down and you know, I'll be worrying about it for so long. And then a couple of months down the line, you know, I'll be wanting to have sex with you all the time or whatever. And it's just like, Woo! whether that comes back, you know, for years down the line or whatever, just chill and go with it. Because we've, again, yeah. what's the rush? We've got time, we've got life to be doing that. And at the moment, I don't know if it's because we're both hectic. We feel, like we said a lot in this video, we feel touched out. We've got, you know, babies and you're interacting all day. It just, it just doesn't feel right. And I think we yeah. took the pressure off ourselves I think when we had Amber, we took the pressure off ourselves a lot to, I don't know, we just stripped it right back and we felt like we wanted to, I know, she loves doing little talking now as well. I can't remember when Amber started doing little, little interactions like that. So yeah, I feel like then, I feel like since Amber, we sort of took the pressure off a bit as well and yeah. we were just like, whenever it happens, it happens and we kind of just wanted to do it whenever it happened, we sort of made it a more of a special thing rather than feel like a rather than feeling like we had to do it like a certain 
amount of times. Do you get do you what I mean? We would never be like that. Wednesdays. Wednesdays is sex day. We would definitely like that when trying for the babies. <laughs> like, Tuesday, Wednesday, babies, Thursday, Friday. Like, this is the ovulation five days, okay? Six Twice times a day. each day. <laughs> I know! Whoopsie oh. daisy! Uh, we've done that, we've done this. But yeah, it's, it changes that. all the time, sex driving. Don't worry if yours hasn't come back yet. It's not, it's completely yeah. normal. Defo, defo. Will there be any travel vlogs this year? <gasps> yes! Yay, we're going on holiday! We're going on a family holiday. Do you want to go on holiday? Do you want to go on holiday? Do you want to go on holiday with us? Hollypop, pop, pop. Okay. We're actually going away in the next couple of months. We're super excited. Yeah, we're going away um, in a few weeks. I know. I just thought I'd leave the tension. <laughs> oh, okay. <yeah. laughs> you never know when we're going to go. Hello, beautiful. See, Daddy? Hello, hello. Can you clap for your hands? Clap, clap, clap. Hello, yes, hello. travel vlogs. We are... Yeah, so we're going away quite soon. Um, yeah, what was James just saying? Yeah, James was saying that we went and we stayed in a hotel as a family of four for the first time. Um, when we went to Peppa Pig World, yeah, we stayed in a Premier Inn. And um, I will pop up these little videos of Amber in the hotel room because it was so funny. James went down to the bar. I went down to bed with the girls at 7pm. I was like, loving life. This is great. I was boozing it up. No, no. I but... was watching a little bit of TV <laughs> on my laptop because I knew the room was going to be dark and quiet. Yes. And I just thought, look, this is great. I'm going to get to bed at 7pm. So I thought. Um, it was the first time that Amber, you know, we'd all kind of slept in the same room with Mabel. It was confusing. And she was just being so cute. She had her own big girl bed as well. Um, and she was just like too excited to sleep. And she was just getting up. Like, and anyway, I'll pop up those videos. Amber, back in bed, please. Back in bed, please. I'm okay, baby. Thank you. Mommy, okay? Yeah, I'm okay. Are you okay? I'm okay. I'm okay. It was so funny, um, but we didn't get a very good night's sleep. We'll, we'll, <laughs> we'll leave it at that. So we're a little bit nervous because we are all sharing the same room, aren't we? Uh oh. Uh oh. And every time I fed Mabel in the night, Amber would be like, Mummy, you okay? We were just looking at me how, how much, how expensive it was to upgrade to like a two bedroom. We just room. looked. Yeah. And we were lucky, we were like, no, we're gonna risk it. Yeah, <laughs> literally, I was like, literally the first the, the first thing I said when we woke up was, "Could you look at how much it is to upgrade that room on holiday to two rooms so we can like shut?" So <laughs> James and Amber can go. I'm in that sorry, room. Yeah, I'm gonna go sleep with Amber and yeah. have a really good night's sleep with her. <laughs> and me and Mabel will stay in this room. We looked at it. We were like, "Okay, no, it's not worth the price. We'll just have to risk it and get no sleep on holiday." It'll be one of those things. I'm sure after a couple of nights, fingers crossed, she might get used to it. Um, but we'll just take it as it comes. We'll see. We'll see. It's a small price to pay for going on a family holiday. Oh yeah. Um, who needs sleep? Who needs sleep? So much fun during the day. We can. <laughs> Hi, we can have fun, are we? So we hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Thank you so much for watching. We hope we caught you up on lots of things yes. that are going on in our life um, at the moment, and I'm sure we'll be back very soon with another video. Um, Say bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye, guys. Oh, she did a wave. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Love, Love you guys. Bye. See you soon.